The financial success of poker rooms globally relies on recreational players enjoying themselves while high stakes ring games and poker tournaments are primarily fueled by less skilled individuals who overestimate their abilities. This individual ardently believes they are amongst the finest poker player to walk the earth, but alas, reality paints a different picture altogether. Since the inception of poker, these type of players have always been present, but during the later stages of the poker boom, there was a significant increase in their numbers. However, when the poker boom subsided and entered a plateau phase, many of these players found themselves struggling and unable to perform as they did during the peak boom period. During the poker boom, numerous new players enter the poker scene daily. Among them, some developed into top quality players while others either burnt out over time or settled as recreational players not playing for significant sums of money. Nowadays, those mediocre players looking to make substantial profits find themselves facing more peers. While these peers may not be exceptionally skilled, poker profitability relies on having an edge or advantage. Mediocre players can only gain an edge when they play against weaker or recreational players, making it challenging to achieve substantial earnings when facing more evenly matched opponents. In other words, games have not really gotten tougher. Strong players can beat mediocre players as thoroughly, perhaps even more so, than they can recreational players, but mediocre players now find themselves the entree in the poker restaurant, not the customer. Some mediocre players wisely recognize this change and choose to play at lower stakes where recreational players are still present and there's less competition from top tier players. On the other hand, confused players continue to deceive themselves into believing they possess greater skills than they do. Consequently, they end up playing at higher stakes than they should, facing tougher opponents and lacking a clear understanding of the challenges they are up against. This misplaced confidence often leads them to unfavorable outcomes in the game. Indeed, numerous factors contribute to the current poker landscape. Many top players who rose to prominence during the poker boom wisely expanded their skill set, becoming excellent all-around poker players. In poker, the income comes from identifying edges with a positive expected value. Players who limit themselves to being a one-trick pony with a single approach or strategy may struggle if their opponents don't make it easy for them to exploit that one approach. Throughout poker's history, there have always been confused players who, after experiencing success in one or two major tournaments, considered themselves poker geniuses when in reality, they were merely fortunate with favorable card draws. Additionally, the nature of the game allows for variance where even after playing hundreds of thousands of online poker hands, some players may run luckier than average over an extended period. A top level player understands and acknowledges the role of luck and variance in the game while a confused player tends to attribute their success to their own skill, often confusing it with good luck. This leads to a lack of self-awareness about their actual abilities. Top-level players approach poker as a serious career, even if it's a temporary one, and remain committed to the game despite challenges and setbacks. On the other hand, confused players may become frustrated and lose interest in the game during such periods, lacking the long-term dedication and perspective needed to succeed at the highest level. In poker, Success is achieved through accomplishing and achieving strategic goals. However, confused players tend to think more in terms of ego-satisfying thrill-seeking. A thrill-seeker seeks excitement for the sake of ego-boosting experiences. On the other hand, an achiever finds excitement and fulfillment in pursuing challenges and meaningful goals like climbing Mount Everest. The essence of winning poker lies in consistently making decisions that have a positive expected value. However, confused players often lose sight of this fundamental point. Instead, they become preoccupied with trivial matters and distractions such as getting upset over losing a single pot even if they made the best EV decision. 
as losing hands disrupt their self-perception as a uniquely talented player. This fixation on ego and emotional responses hinders their ability to maintain a clear and focused approach to the game. Players who remain confined to their comfort zones are more susceptible to burnout compared to diversified players due to their inherent nature of the game. In No Limit Hold'em, there are many coin flip hands and a significant element of short-term luck involved, making it more mentally draining. On the other hand, Pot Limit Omaha, the next most common poker game, offers a key distinction. It often involves more substantial hands and stronger holdings. Constantly battling with weak or marginal hands in No Limit Hold'em can take a toll on a player's psyche. This difference poses a challenge for thrill-seeking players, including confused players in particular. While No Limit Hold'em success relies on winning a higher share of the equity in pots with weak hands, it also presents numerous opportunities for confused players to make impulsive and ill-considered plays, overestimating their abilities. A successful poker career, poker tournament, or individual poker hand comes from design, architecture, and planning. While there can be room for creativity and spontaneity in poker, relying solely on whim and thrill-seeking is unlikely to lead to consistent success. A comparison can be made to jazz music where inspiration plays a significant role. However, even in jazz, satisfying music is created through a blend of inspiration and skillful execution, not solely through a delusional belief in one's innate genius. There will always be a clear distinction between a degenerate and skillful poker player. The difference lies in the motivations behind their actions. For instance, if someone places a significant wager like $1 million on weight loss just to trigger certain behavior, it is considered degenerate because the money is driving the behavior, not a genuine desire to achieve a particular goal. Similarly, if a poker player spends days working hard to win hundreds of thousands of dollars in a poker tournament and then proceeds to lose it all on a single spin at a roulette table, it reflects disrespect towards oneself as well as towards people who could benefit significantly from such money. It also disregards the effort and accomplishment of their own labor in the poker tournament. Skillful poker players are more focused on using their expertise, strategy, and decision-making to win money rather than being driven by impulsive and reckless behaviors. They understand the value of their efforts and treat their earnings with respect and responsibility rather than squandering it on high-risk and imprudent wagers. Pure degenerates are just one aspect of the large group of poker players who are confused. Many of them complain about the increasing difficulty of the games or express boredom with their current poker pursuits despite considering themselves skilled players. Diversification in both gameplay and outside interests can add excitement and fulfillment to the journey. Finding challenges akin to climbing Mount Everest rather than seeking impulsive thrills is a wise approach. Objectively evaluating choices and acknowledging the need for continuous growth and improvement is paramount. No matter how good one becomes, there is always room to grow and learn in every aspect of life, including poker. Embracing humility and a mindset of constant self-improvement are vital to sustain success in poker and beyond. In summary, Adopting a proactive and open-minded approach to poker and life can lead to a more rewarding and fulfilling journey far beyond the limited mindset of confused players who get stuck in their ways or fall into the trap of seeking short-lived thrills.